Okay guys, first thing I have to tell you is that I'm a geek. Um, I spend most of my time on YouTube looking at science videos. And this particular video that I'm making now is straight from the new science guy, Steve Spangler. Um, down in the description box there will be links to his website and YouTube page. Be sure to check it out. And let me get set up real quick and I'll show you how to make a super bubble. Okay, to make a super bubble, you're going to need some equipment. So what you're going to need is a small glass, a measuring cup if desired, you're going to need water, and uh, some regular old dish soap, a cotton glove, and a bubble wand. Now if you don't have a bubble wand handy, you can always go for a pipe cleaner. A regular old pipe cleaner makes the best bubble wand because the fuzz just helps it stick. So you can bend up the bubble wand, the, the pipe cleaner, into the shape of a circle. Um, if you have cookie cutters handy, you can form the pipe cleaner around the cookie cutter to make a star or a heart or whatever shape you want, but this will do perfect. One more second and we will be on to making our super bouncing bubble. Okay, this does not have to be exact, but what you're going to do is take your water. You're going to use three parts to one part of this soap. I've got about a half a cup of water here. So I'm just going to add all that in. And then I'm going to use one part dish soap. That should be good. Now you're going to stir it up real quick and as soon as I do this I'll put my gloves on and we'll get back to the and What you're going to do is take a spoon, a straw, anything and stir up your bubble solution very well. You don't want any of the dish soap left on the bottom of the dish. You put your cotton glove on, make sure it's 100% cotton or this will not work. And you use a bubble wand or your homemade pipe cleaner bubble wand. But I personally like the straws the best. So get some bu bubble solution in there. And there you have our super bubble which also let me zoom in for you guys. Bounces. Adjust the camera a bit. Oh, it popped. Let's get another one. Let me zoom out and I'll be right back to show you this up close. And okay, now that I've zoomed back out, you can see the bubble a little better, hopefully. Just practice with it. And there you have the super bouncing bubble. Be sure to check the links in the description box for more cool science like this, and I will see you guys next time.